Good morning. I, uh, I want to share with you just for a couple of minutes here. Uh, and thank you for joining me. Uh, in, in a, a thought that's important as we look at and as we're conscious of a really significant awakening uh, all around the world, uh, an, an awakening in hunger for God that we're hearing about prophetically that a good number of us are sensing. Now, I have no question at all, no doubt that this is something great that God is doing. I believe we're in the early days of it. I believe that it's going to increase. And I want to say this to you, that for all the enthusiasm and excitement that we have, which is wonderful, you've got to realize too that challenge and pressure will come as God's moving increases. Wherever God moves, the devil will try and duplicate. The devil will try and slow down or blunt the cutting edge. So the closer you stay to the fire, the more on the edge you stay. You've got to be aware that you're going to also experience uh, what people would call attacks of the devil. What that looks like in real terms is people get discouraged. And I'm aware of lots of believers through different circumstances. I think COVID has had its place. But where there is a sense of concern, a sense of weight, uh, in some cases fear or anxiety, as we face new things, as we have to make new decisions, and they're not all COVID related, by the way. There's, there's stuff going on in our worlds um, that God is working on and wanting to develop in us. Now, listen, in, in, in that time, in that zone, what you've got to do is keep your faith really switched on. And I've talked a little bit about this in the e-thoughts and continue to go down that stream. And uh, we talked about it on Sunday as well. And just the role that, that, that um, challenges, disappointments and suffering has. But what we need to do right now in this hour is keep our faith sharp. Okay, so that means keep loving the word of God. And I want to say this, and I feel this kind of prophetically, keep your, keep your spirit strong, keep your spine strong spiritually, and resist the devil. Stand against stuff. All through the New Testament, you're going to find not one place where we are ever instructed as Christians to ask God to do something about the devil. Uh, because he's done everything that needs to be done. He defeated the devil. But the consistent instruction for us is resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Or your, your adversary, the lion, uh, like a roaring lion, goes about uh, uh, like a roaring dying, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, resist him. So there has to be this thing in you that says no, we're not doing that. No, we're not succumbing to feeling depressed today. No, we're not. I know sometimes it feels like a wall that you have to climb through, but God is with you and the faith muscles, like just like kind of doing weights, are developed as you press against something that's pressing against you. So I want to say to you, be on guard today. Be on guard in this season. Do not accept uh, a defeat. Do not accept that we're going to go under, that we're just going to live at a level lower than what we feel we're called to. No, resist the devil. Stay strong in your faith. Keep pressing back. Keep tuning in if these things are helping you. Keep doing everything you can to build strong faith in this hour. God bless you. I am praying for you. I thank God for you. Thanks for your time.